we're really pleased to be opening the exhibition of the work of uh, Maria Bartosova, who was a Prague-born artist who spent most of her career in the Slovak city of Kosice. Um, it's a 30-year career survey spanning works from the early 60s to the late 80s and really explores her continual experimentation to find a new sculptural language. And you'll see in the exhibition that her primary medium is plaster, which is a liquid material, very malleable. Uh, she had to work quickly and inventively. During Bartosova's lifetime, she worked with certain political constraints because she lived in the former Eastern Bloc. Uh, she wrote in her journals about the difficulty she experienced living in a totalitarian regime and unable to express artists, unable to express themselves fully. Uh, she also lived away from the centre, which at the time was Prague, and lived in an industrial city of Kozice. So she had a relatively secluded life, also to do with her own personality, and re relatively few opportunities to show in her lifetime. So it's really posthumously that she has started to become better known. Yes, it has a very abstract feel, but at the same time, the works are very sensual. There are really direct references to the body, to body parts. Um, her own exper lived, lived experience as a mother really inflected her practice. So there are works that have a clear kind of erotic connotations. Other works are more surreal. Yes, it's interesting this because I was never thought that it could happen because she was relatively unknown in Slovakia or in Czechoslovakia because she lived in Czechoslovakia. But uh, I think this is something in her language, in her shapes that could uh, invite and uh, to other people to understand her work because she used a minimalist form and the colors but the, these forms shapes colors are important for us and she always connect them with the nature
it's quite a revelation to learn about new artists and that's part of what Tate really should be doing. It should be showing us the established artists but also introducing us to new names through art history that may have been forgotten and right now it's very important that we've seen lots of collections sharing female artists who haven't been brought to the limelight so this is a chance to discover a new female artist that a lot of visitors will not have come across.